Hey everyone, Deltron here. Welcome back to Age of Empires 2. So last time we finished up Age of Kings, so this time we're going to be heading into the Conquerors, which was the first official expansion set of campaigns for Age of Empires 2. Play the new Conquerors expansion. Well, I don't know if it's new in 2018, but that's besides the point. Battle with Attila the Hun, El Cid, Montezuma, and other Conquerors in a series of related games. Cool, so it looks like we're going to be starting with Attila the Hun. Barbarian hordes feast on the dying Roman Empire. The most dangerous of these invaders of the Huns, and the ferocious king Attila. After pouring out of the Caspian steppes, looting and burning all the wild, the Huns became, become so powerful that the Roman Empire is forced to pay a tribute to Attila, but the king of the Huns is still not satisfied, as he mobilizes his, his horsemen to invade Gal and eventually Rome his, itself. Can nothing stop the brutal Attila? Okay, first mission, the Scourge of God. A severed head on a pike seemed such a grisly trophy to be displayed in the chapel at Chalon. And yet it took me weeks before I got up the nerve to ask Father Armand why he kept it. The ancient priest stared out the window for a long time, recalling days gone by. I was there, he said finally, at the Battle of the Catalonian Fields, fighting alongside Isis and Theodoric the Goth. I knew there had been a battle here, decades ago, Peasants still overturn skeletons and broken shields with their plows from time to time. Who was it, father? I asked him. Who were you fighting? He turned back to regard me, paralyzing me in his old man's stare. Attila the Hun, he said, and then he told me the story. The Huns rode out from the wilderness sometime in the 400s, eager to feast on a Roman Empire weak from internal corruption and the expansion of other barbarian tribes. It was the Huns who drove many of these other barbarians before them. They were terrifying warriors from the steppes of Asia, their bodies disfigured from ritual scarring, their legs deformed from a near lifetime in the saddle. Despite their fearsome aspect, the Huns might have been little more than raiders, had it not been for the leadership of Attila. He called himself the Scourge of God. Attila and his brother Bleda led the Huns not just to raid, but to devastate Scythia and Persia. To call yourself the Scourge of God? Gotta be high on something there. All right, Attila must survive. Attila must make sure Bleda is killed. His brother already? And return to the Hun's camp. Only then can the Huns ride against their empire's enemies. Okay, we have hints, and it looks like we have scouts as well. Bleda must be may be defeated in several ways. You can change your stance with him to enemy and attack him. See that he dies in an accident, or refuse to challenge altogether and flee from the Hun camp. Look for allies in unlike unlikely places. The Scythian greens are not on good terms with the Romans blue, so it may be possible to convince the two to fight against each other. The Huns may only reach the castle age. Scouts. Oh wow. Your scouts report Attila the Hun yellow initially commands no troops at all, as of all the Huns are loyal to the Hunnic king, Bleda. Attila must somehow depose Bleda in order to inherit troops and villagers. There are three other enemies scattered across the landscape. Western Roman Empire Blue has a fort to the south where it holds some Huns captive. The Romans rely on the infantry in combat. Okay, the Scythians Greens have a scattered encampment to the west because the Scythians are nomadic people. Are they Mongols? Their unmined reserves are sown in the area. The most dangerous enemy is Persia, Persian city across the bay to the east. The Persians hoard lots of gold, but their armies consist of mangonels and war elephants, as well as a considerable navy. So maybe we want to go for the Western Roman Empire first? South? You challenge my every decision. It is as if you seek to lead the Huns yourself. Okay, so here's Attila, his brother, Very Bleda. well. The iron boar lairs near here. Let the one who kills this mighty beast lead our people. This way, Attila. Follow. Bleda will lead us to ruin. Perhaps he should not return from his boar hunt. Accidents can't happen. Ooh, so we can... So Max, the brother, ride ahead and see if you can flush the boar out. Several ways to do this. We can change the sense of enemy. Or we just have him fight the board and we run? That's what I got out of that? Uh, so all we have is Attila. Let's go ahead and knock you. Coward. 
Fight <laughs> and earn your right to rule. Or just run. <laughs> uh, will they join us, though? Waste our time. Let us follow Attila. We ride with you, Attila. Blada is no more. When Attila returns to camp, he alone will rule the Huns. Let us go. Bleda will soon seek you out. Some of our families are across the Western River. We should see to them. Okay. Western River. This road leads to a bridge in both directions. Northwest is the way we want. South leads to the Romans. Okay, so tell the Hun is, he's a, has a cataphract This model. is the bridge of which I spoke. So we get villagers from crossing this bridge? I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out, guys. And then our... Let's actually check out... It's the first time playing as the Huns. So they don't need houses, but start with negative 100 wood. That's awesome. We don't have to build houses. So every map, we're going to start at max supply. Copper archers cost 25% less. Castle age, 30% less. Imperial age, definitely a cavalry civilization. Trebuchet is 30% more accurate. That's great. Unique unit, Tarkon. I remember these guys. They have like a plus damage to buildings. Unit technology, atheism, plus 100 years relic wonder victories. Spice treason cost 50%. Last team bonus tables work 20% faster. So these are like the Mongols on steroids. Oh yeah, I remember the Tarkins. I don't know what they're, what they throw with these little slingshots. Seems like, doesn't it look like fire or something? I, I don't know, I always thought these were really weird. Oh. Attila, welcome. We are not many who follow you, but we will follow you where you lead. Lead us to glory. Oh, that's very nice of you guys. Uh. Just stick that down there, I guess. Do we have to build up from scratch? We don't have a lot of anything. Uh, I feel like we should get control of these. The rest of Bloodus forces, right? Maybe we have to go kill him? It said he was dead, right? I don't know. Let's go back and see what's going on here. <laughs> uh, but it's cool. We got those villagers. We have a stable over here. Go ahead and hockey that. Oh my god. We start... Our max 125 supply. Age of Conquerors? Thank you. <laughs> That's gonna be fantastic. We even got some horses in here. I def already noticed the difference in these, like the Conquerors campaign so far. A lot more triggers, a lot more dialogue. Until a murdered Blader, we were too late to stop the bloodshed. We are left with an honorless no, no, no. cur for our leader. And what were you doing in the forest, noble archer, if not waiting to ambush Attila at Bleda's command? Ooh. We are best rid of Bleda. Ooh. Hail Attila! Ooh. Attila is king of the Huns! Ooh. He will lead us to victory against our blood enemies. Ooh, I like this line. Let's go up to Fuel Age. Oh, we just got a bunch of stuff here. This is awesome. So we got all those archers. Wow, this is great. Okay, it told him I survived to defeat two of your remaining three enemies, the Scythians, Romans, and Persians. Well, didn't it say that we could get... Uh, let's get more villagers. And I don't even know what to do with them. Some time ago, the Romans captured a number of Han villagers. Bleda arranged for their return, but I did not trust Bleda, and I do not trust the Romans. We should free them. No bargaining. We raise this Roman camp to the ground. Oh, that's great of you, Hun. <laughs> I guess let's go for the other group. So we have optional quests. Rescue Hun captives from the Roman port to the south. I think we have a very strong force. Let's just... I say we just do that now. Oh, we have horses. Well, let's... We can add them to our little pin here. Nice. And... I guess let's go ahead and hockey... Our unit production structures. There we go. I guess continue down here. Yeah, we can take them out early. Uh, we have stables, archery. Probably just going to make horses this map. <laughs> Cavalry units. And this, these are great. Like, okay, the Persian advance to the. Should we just avoid these outposts? Oh, we have a scout cavalry. Why don't you scout, buddy? Oh, that's great. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get cavalry plus attack. Uh, wheelbarrow. Let's 
Let's get some more villagers on food, on wood over here. Got lumber. Eventually we need farms. Uh, bloodlines is gonna be great. Oh, this is great. Okay, let's continue. So, yeah, I mean, I didn't see a need to turn him into an enemy. Well, we could have just did what I did and <laughs> be a coward and run. Let him fight the boar. I didn't actually kill him. The boar did. He, he thought he could kill the boar. That's his own mistake. Okay, let's go, let's go ahead and save just in case the Persians get a little... They start dropping like 10 elephants on me. So this is Attila the Huns, uh, mission number one. Sweet. Yeah, you can already tell there's a lot more dialogue. Like, there's more dialogue in this mission. <laughs> And more triggers in this mission than probably an entire Age of Kings campaign on its own. Uh, this is great though. Oh, we can actually fish. Get some sh sh shore fish. Bloodlines, not enough food. Let's put these guys on fishing. Okay, tell the hunt. You're gonna s basically kill everything. <laughs> Our arrangement was with Bleeder. I will not turn the captives over to Attila. You must take them by force. Oh, we'll, we'll be fine. I think Attila can tank all of these. I mean, they're in the Dark Age. So we just take out these little towers. Attila can... Archers, I'm not sure what you guys are doing, but... That's fine with me. Okay, you guys take out this tower. Uh, Attila's getting smoked a little bit. Nice, we're absolutely destroying this. The Romans. Let's get bloodlines. Not enough food. Okay, let's not get too crazy here. Okay. Yeah! Okay, where are the, the prisoners? So there should be the Scythian prisoners. This is great. We just go after their... their... Uh, their production. Uh, sit down here. Oh, there's another tower. Let's take out this tower. Uh, I would like to get bloodlines. Uh, Wait! Oh. I am the son of Lipoxis, a leader amongst my people. If you will free me, you will be rewarded. We are safe! That's awesome. This is so cool. <laughs> Liking this a lot. Okay. Let's get over there. We're getting our upgrades. How's Attila doing? Villagers, free yourself out. We just got a ton of villagers. Am I being attacked at all? I don't think so. And Attila will regenerate health. This could not have gone any better. Uh, let's keep scouting here. Keep making more villagers. Put them on gold. Okay, there's some bushes over there we can gather. Oh. My thanks for rescuing me. Oh, we seconds. nomads should work together. Perhaps if your leader Attila will visit our village in the west, oh, just our people can make an alliance. For no, no, a truce. Okay. Was he attacking us? Are they? Oh, they're not allied with us yet. Bring Attila to the Scythian village in the west to discuss an alliance. Yeah, this mission is a lot more evolved. Okay, so they're neutral right now. Okay, villagers. Uh, let's just have you... Come back to base. The rest of these units will just stay here. And... I know, we need... We just need food. So we can start killing these deer, I guess. Okay, we're being attacked. That's fine. We'll take out their unit production structures. They won't be able to do anything. And then Attila just go to the Scythians and become, become allies, I guess. Right? We only have one archer left. That's fine. Ah, oh, this is awesome. Okay. Uh, any other... Attack rate. Take out the university. And the fact that the... Hung commanders. Oh. Is he different then? Oh yeah, he's more HP. Oh, this must be one of the starting ones. More HP, he does nine more damage, and he has the same armor. All right, till it just gets right off to the west. Enjoy your life of freedom. <laughs> Calvary. 
Scourge, Scourge of the God. Yeah. Uh, I kind of want to scout what's over here. But we desperately need horses. If you could supply us with ten horses, we will repay our debt of honor. And I love these little optional quests. Send ten horses to the Flag Scythian Palisade so the Scythian can supply Attila with soldiers. Oh, they're our ally now. That's awesome. This is so cool. <laughs> oh, more horses. Okay. So, what do we have? Six horses here. So, we need ten. I guess let's go scout for more horses, guys. Uh, we need to find horses. We need four more horses. Uh, you guys are still fishing? That's great. You guys go kill some deer. Uh, same vision? Uh, I would like that. Mm, do we have any more horses? Over here, maybe? Maybe hidden over here? You never know. Eh, eh, <clears throat> excuse me. Cavalry archers will be great. We got bloodlines. Let's get up to Castle Age. Uh, yeah, not enough food. That's to be expected. Eventually, we'll get farms. Uh, might as well start building them. There we go. Maybe you just don't have to walk too far. Okay, you come over here, keep collecting lumber, buddy. Uh... Oh! Look what I found. Yeah, this is awesome. Now we have vision of their entire army. So we can see where th what they see, do what they do. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is so neat. How much food do we need? 800 food. No, we'll get there, we'll get there. And then... Blue should be out of the picture soon, right? We we'll destroy everything. Probably. Scythian advance to the castle age. Well, they are our ally now. Maybe it's just their unit you know, production structures. Can we kill this? Okay, kill their monastery and their market. And so here are the Persians. Oh, I'm glad we didn't destroy this base. That would have been a pain in the ass. Yeah, they're the Mongols. And there are horses. What are you going to give us, buddy? Give us something good. I uh, hear... Uh, what's going on? Oh! Oh, we have Monkey Day! Oh my god, how many? <laughs> Do we still get to keep the horses? <laughs> we'll leave <laughs> leave you guys the horses. That's awesome. It still says optional quest, so there's got to be a trigger that spawns. Oh, uh, this is <laughs> this is so much fun. This is so cool. Okay. Build a farm, buddy. Wow. Okay, let's get Castle Age. Okay, Western Roman Empire defeated. Good job. Good job, guys. Hung Commander will try to keep you alive. Now we just have to find our way to the Persians. Uh, down here, maybe? I don't know, let's just go check it out. We could build a castle, but for the first mission, I don't think we really need to. I mean, we have to get, up, get to Castle Age, though. That's, that's a must. Okay, let's just start building farms. Uh, we have a lot of villagers. Uh, we can build some farms over here. I feel like I had a great start. Like, coming west. Get those extra villagers right away. Build in that town center. I feel like I could not have done much better. Okay, more upgrades. Yeah, ca cavalry archers. Uh, we just need to find a way... Okay, looks like there's a way across. I don't have to build up a navy. That would have been a pain in the ass. we just rally down here. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> That's amazing. That's a lot more than 10. <laughs> I thought you guys were low on horses. Apparently not. It's weird the objective never crossed out. I mean, I got it, right? We get more? If I take them out and bring them back in, would it give me 15? How much was it? It was like 15? 
Mungade? That's crazy. That's insane. Okay. Uh, we have no stone, but I don't really think we need it. Let's just get farms. Okay, Castle Age. Let's get Handcart. Get more upgrades for our cavalry. Just husbandry. Cavalry move faster. And then... Knights. Yeah, you whack them with your little stick or whatever you attack with. Let's put, bring the horses back. Maybe they'll give us even more. Okay. Yeah, I'm bringing Attila with us. He's, he's a beast, man. Okay, so there's Persia. We just have to cross this river. And we don't need houses or anything. So let's just start pumping up knights. Maybe we should build a university? Just to see what is available to us? Uh, we might also need siege weapons. So let's actually come down here and build some siege weapons. Right there, build a siege workshop. Castle would also be nice. Okay, so, so they're just keeping them. Now, will they attack? Maybe once we attack? Oh, there are more horses just hanging out right there. So we could agree. Yeah, lots, lots and lots of horses. Uh, what should I have you guys do? Uh, what do we need? More food. Let's build more farms. Can we fit one right there? Yes, we can. Yeah, Persia hasn't even attacked us. And then let's have you guys build a workshop. A university, sorry. Let's see what's going on with that. And... One more farm there. Perfect. More upgrades. I should probably go ahead and get some cavalry archers too, right? Skirmishers, we need thumb rings. And then we start pumping out some cavalry archers. I'm not really worried about infantry. I think this, this campaign is going to be all... Yeah, pretty much just all uh, cavalry. And with the fact that we had the Menga Day, it's amazing. We just need some some siege weapons. Besides the Tartans. I mean they're they're good and all. Tarkons, sorry. They're good and all, but we need some some meat up front. Okay, any other special things? Archers. Yeah. The ballistics is always good to get. Especially if we're gonna build some cavalry archers. I say we just I don't know. Don't really need much else. Uh, probably on wood. And then we have plenty of food. Oh, oops. Never got the heavy plow. It's my bad. And then you guys just hang out, I guess. Just some... Alright, not enough wood. Yep, that's what. <laughs> Keep up a little too many farms. Let's cancel some of these. And then we can get some battering ramps. And we're stuck at Castle Age. I mean, stuck is... And I'm so used to 75 supply, I'm not even... <laughs> Oh, here's our, the iron boar. 350 health. This would be a slap in our brother's face if we had kill him now. Look at them go. They are attacking, aren't they? Okay, we just need some battering rams. I'll save. Just in case. Can't let it till I die. Okay, again, we don't need these, so let's just get some cavalry archers and send them on down. And so we start the attack. Mungaday are going to be especially good at taking out any siege weapon they have. And then we can just come up here. And I'm not really sure what can stop us unless they kill Attila. Probably shouldn't bring them. It's mission one. Let's, let's live on the edge for, for a little bit, I guess. As long as we can afford stuff. Okay, we're being attacked. Oh, they have a base right here. That's nice. Okay, so they do have a navy. Uh, we have. Come on, good day. So you go after their dock, buddy. You would be wise to withdraw from our base and pursue your petty conquests elsewhere. Really, I I think I'll. 
I'll pass. Go across the river. They don't, they don't even attack this cavalry archer. I'm not sure why. But I'll take it. Okay, we really need to press it. Tell the hunt, get in there, buddy. You're a beast. Cavalry archers. More attack. I don't like this one bit. Maybe I should just avoid their their navy. Possibly. Might have been a wise choice. We have a huge army over here doing nothing. Okay. Fight. I think we'll be fine. I think we're just fine, guys. Till is doing fine. Kill this, please. Okay. Let's take out their navy. Tarkons. Let's help destroy these docks a little faster. Let's make more batting rams. Villagers. We need wood. Start chopping down trees. Uh, please don't chase. Okay. Let's run. Take out the Megan Elf, please. Attila? Oh, Attila. Oh, Attila. Let's kill their dock. They probably have more. No, yeah, they have more. Yeah, no point in killing their docks. You don't say. <laughs> Lots of Megan Elf. We just need to take out that wall. Okay, we're good, we're good. Maybe. More siege workshops. Uh, that was not a wise choice. Okay, we just need to avoid that dock. Nope, that's my whole army. Okay, that's one Megan out down. We just need to destroy the gates. Fuck their docks. Yeah, that's just annoying. I'm not gonna build up a, a navy right now. No way. Scythians, if you could help me, that would be much appreciated. I'm just hanging out right here. Uh, we lost all of our Tarkons, didn't we? I should just build a castle. That's what I should have done. That would have been a wise choice. Okay, break down the gates. Or just let the Baden Ram get in there. What is Mega Day? Yeah, they can... Okay, but seriously. I'd really like to destroy... Uh, let's get more Baden Rams. They're trying to help us out. Farm exhausted. I thought I fixed that problem. Apparently not. Okay, it's not enough wood. Uh, let's get more villagers on wood. Yeah, that's a problem. Oh look! He's actually attacking. Why don't they attack him? We lost all of our Tarkins. We should probably build more. We're gonna take out this base. Dodge. Cavalry archers. That's a lot. That's probably too many. Oh, look. They, they are bringing more. Okay, this stock. I would really just like to kill it. I mean, we could build the castle. No, we could. We have enough money for it. Okay, there goes the dock. Thank you. Right, just go after the gate, please. There's another gate over there, but as long as we get inside, we should be, we should be more than open. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. I I see you. I see you, Scythians. Uh, let me help you. Let me just break down this gate for you. Let the banner in. Oh man, that's I've never had an ally 
attack with that much stuff. That's fantastic. And we need to replenish our farm, so. Let's go for the tower. Go for the tower. Attila. Let's hang out, buddy. Oh, look at look at them. They're at, they're murdering everything. Gets us back up. Not enough wood. Okay, not enough wood. These guys have been hanging out doing nothing. Get more villagers, more villagers. Right, I think we have plenty of food. So you guys just get on wood. Right there, it's fine. Oh, this is. Okay. More batting rams. This is amazing. <laughs> uh, they need help destroying the dock, though, so they can actually push into the, the main town. Let's help them out. Until they just can't die. Okay. You guys destroy this tower. Destroy the towers. As long as you keep an eye on Attila, we should be okay. Attila. Help us. And then let's just, let's just make a lot of knights. Uh, I could make a castle. We have enough stone for it. We have these two villagers. Let's have them build a castle. Uh, right. Right there. It's good. Tilda's doing great. He's really doing it for us. Okay. This tower, please. Oh, they have people garrison inside. That's why. Being a pain in the ass. Play a dangerous game with the lives of your people by sending them into our territory. Do you see how many units I have? I've recruited the Mongols. This is the the army of the horses. <laughs> Not the army of the people. The army of the horses. This is like the, the Mongolian and the the Hun empires. That's a sight to behold. Crossbone, get out of here. You don't need to be here. Horses only. Okay, now we just take out their production. Hmm. We should just go straight for their town hall, I think. Okay. Let's leave the charge, guys. Attila's leading, leading it. The mangonels were rough, but... Yeah, let's just go after the town hall. They might just resign after that. I don't feel like destroying everything. So again, if I can... It's not enough gold. I've not been mining gold this entire time, have I? Uh, where... Where is gold? Where is gold? Uh, there's some gold down here. Uh, mining camp. Go for it. Oh, look at, look at these guys going. And they're not dumb, like Richard the Lionheart attacking walls or whatnot. Uh, we do have the market. We can just trade. What do we have a lot of? Food? Yeah, tons of food. Oh, no. Shit, I was selling wood. It doesn't matter. <laughs> just a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Okay, let's just try the buildings help them out. Well, now we have no wood or... <laughs> no wood anymore. But we have lots of gold. Okay, Tarkons, Hun unique units. Cavalry with the attack bonus for his buildings. Oh, that's fantastic. And it costs 60 food, 60 gold. So we're going to spam the heck out of these things. There we go. That's enough. We're going to rally everything here. I think we just took out their villagers. I think that's pretty much all we need to do here. So villagers. Let's come up here, take out any other villagers we see. There we go. Perfect. Uh, there was a tower. Are they trying to rebuild an archery range? Get out of here, guys. We kill their villagers, they should just quit. Kill the hunt. That one's yours. 
job. This is fantastic. Yeah, this is not too difficult in that map, but I can see how it would be difficult. I wonder what would happen if you killed Fleta at the beginning. Instead. Do we have to go for the castle? Oops. So we're gonna have to go for the castle. Do we have to kill everything? Usually you don't have to. Just just their villagers in the town hall. And then they'll resign. Okay, yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to destroy everything. Okay, right, you guys get out of their way. The Tarkons will help us out quite a bit, though. No, we're gonna need more wood. You guys get back on wood. Get back to work. Right, let's keep making those batting ramps. That should, should be enough. Tarkons, I'm not really sure what you guys... We need to destroy. I'll send this to the these to the castle. Uh, their blacksmith, I guess. We don't need to destroy all their houses. Yeah, we just need. Maybe I just send all my Tarkons up here. There we go. Send them to the castle. Oh, more villagers. More villagers. Tilla. Yeah, we take out the villagers, I think we win. Oh, well, that was bad. How, how are these Tarkons going to do against villagers? Uh, there's a villager here. Let's kill this one quickly. It's interesting that, yeah, their attack is melee. They're not ranged. No, I think that was it. Yep. Alright, this whole thing explode, so should resign shortly. Maybe. <laughs> Game, don't do this to me. This has been such a fun mis mission. Don't make me destroy everything, please. Uh, everything. Everything died. Should have won, right? They should just resign. Okay, thank God. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's like the towers. <laughs> Died. It was just, it was killing those remaining villagers. Oh, that was neat. Well, that Persia Shah kept bad mouthing us. It was like a little gold camp here we could have taken, but that would have been rough. I, I'm surprised it was this close to our base with a tower. That was neat. And also, the, the training, like seeing the snow. I've never seen that before. Age of Empires. That iron boar. The famous boar that took out Bleda. Or whatever his name is. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Got taken out by a boar. Oh, with lots. Oh, look at these flowers. This is, this is like a little oasis over here. I didn't see that. Until it's too late. Oh, that was a fun map. Yeah, they were in Dark Age then. I didn't think they had a town center. We got our villagers. Yeah, it was just... I love the optional objectives. Just adds a whole new... Another layer to these maps. Makes them just that more interesting. Okay. I asked Father Armand more about this legendary Attila the Hun, whom the stories always treat as more of a monster than a man. He was a man, the priest said, but he did not look like the Romans, nor did he worship the Roman god. That was the cause of all that was to follow. Father Armand shivered, as if from the cold breeze that blew in from the chapel's open windows. Kingship among the barbarians, was not by divine right or lineage, but by who had the strongest will. Attila was the strongest of the Huns, and he reinforced his position by brandishing a rusty old blade and proclaiming it to be the Sword of Mars, the old Roman god of war. Attila had a custom of fiercely rolling his eyes, as if he wished to enjoy the terror which he inspired. He had a power over other men, so that many chose to join him. Many foreigners joined his council, Scythians and Burgundians and Goths. Most notable among these was the son of a prominent Roman family, sent as a hostage to ensure peace between Romans and Huns. The name of this boy was Flavius Aetius, a name not soon to be forgotten. 
I wonder if that means that we'll see floppy Aceus in the missions coming up. Look, MVP right there. Ah, that was a fun map. Yeah, I kind of want to go back and just, I mean, not on camera, just go back and see what, like, what would change if we just, we kill Bleta instead of him being destroyed by the boar. We just change our stance to enemy. But anyways, that was a fun map. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Next time, we'll be heading into the Roman Empire and the Great Ride. See you guys then. All right, bye, guys.